Hey guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, everybody. I figured today was a good enough time to start my Read Your E-Reader wrap up. It is uh, the 26th of June, so we've only got four days left to the month. So I said, hey, let's get it done. So for Read Your E-Reader, this was just a challenge for people to get their e-books read, however you read your e-books. And we ended up having 10 prompts, so I'm going to tell you the books I read, the prompts that they covered, authors, ratings, all that good stuff. So let's get started. So the first book that I read was The House on Barclay Beach. This is by Jenny Hale. This book covers second book in a series, Beachy Read. A book with water on the cover and then a cover that's got blue coral or yellow on it so this book like I said is the second book of the series the first one is summer at firefly beach this one covers Sid who is sister to the main character in um, summer at firefly beach so we're following Sid um, their aunt Clara died she decides to stay behind and take care of her uncle He's having a hard time um, and then things start to happen where their privacy is being invaded on the beach now and that's pretty much the story there is a love interest in the story um, but I don't feel like that was what the focus of the story was I think the focus of the story was Firefly Beach um, same with the first book I rated it four stars I feel like that's really generous I just wanted to have a little bit more to the story my thoughts on giving it four stars was because it was a very fluid read. It was a cute story, um, a little cutesy romance in it, but nothing, you know, really to write home about. So, like I said, I think it was a generous four stars. Okay, so then for book two, I read The Tanglewood Tea Shop. This is by Lilac Mills. This one covered the first book in the series and a book with flowers on the cover. I really, really wanted to like this book. I really did. Again, this one was just a cutesy kind of story. Um, you got Stevie who goes to this, moves to the new place and she opens up the tea shop. There is a love interest, but it's really not a lot of romance to me. Anyway, um, this was more about the tea shop than it was about the romance. So. I only rated that one three stars. I wasn't going to go four stars on that one. Moving on. So book three was About Tomorrow. This was, about, this was by Abby Glines. This one covered a book with the sun on the cover. I had a hard time finding one of these and it was just, there was like a glow on the book. And that's why I chose that one. Um, again... Just not much luck at the beginning of Read Your E-Reader. This one, again, was just kind of a cutesy story. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to really think that Abby Glines is just not for me. Or I'm just comparing everything to Just For Now, because that was the very first Abby Glines book that I read, and I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, this one's following Sailor and Creed, and Creed had a sister, her name was Cora, and they were all really a close-knit group. And then Cora passes away and Creed walks away. And then years later, Creed's back in the picture and Sailor's trying to allow him back in because Creed and Sailor were together, but they were young. And that's pretty much the story. Um, yeah, three stars. I just, I don't know. If you guys have, know of any Abby Glein books that you really really enjoyed then let me know maybe I'll try that but these last two that I read by Abby Glines were just okay for me they just you know and I think I'm comparing it to just for now which I really enjoyed that story anyway moving on book number four I read was One Italian Summer this is by Rebecca Searle this was for a book with summer in the title um <sighs> I don't remember what I rated this one. I think I rated this one four stars, three and a half stars, three and a half stars. Um, in this one, you've got Katie who um, is really close to her mother. Her mother gets sick. They were planning a trip 
to Italy when her mom got better. But her mom ends up passing away and Katie still decides to go to Italy on her own. When she gets there, she meets her mom in her younger years, kind of like a little older than what Katie is at the time. And that's pretty much the story. She starts to learn things about her mom and you could probably, it was predictable and you can probably figure out why it would feel predictable. You can figure that out. Um, and Katie was just, yeah, okay for me. I didn't really care for her all that much. So anyway, that was number four. Okay, so then the next one was a travel book, and that one was All the Salt in the Sea, and this was by Tammy L. Harrow. I completely misread what this book was going to be about, because it started out like it was going to be a romance, and you, you got Abby, and Abby is kind of out of the loop with her husband. She's just not feeling it anymore. So she decides to travel again to Italy, which was really weird because it was like the same place in Italy. Um, she meets Daniel there. They just hit it off. Um, they have a really good time and they just start traveling to different places together. Um, it comes to the point where she has to make a decision because you know her and her husband were separated. She has to make a decision um, on if she wants to stay with her husband or if she wants to continue um, her life with Daniel. Well, she finally goes home and the whole story switches. Like, it was like flipping a switch. Um, so anyway, her daughter Ruby gets sick. And um, so she's there for an extended amount of time. And that's all I'm going to say. Because this... Just this book threw me for a loop. I was completely shocked at the story and and how it progressed after she went back home. That's all I'm going to tell you. Uh, and I didn't even know like the gist of the story when I started it. Um, I didn't know a whole lot about what was going on. I just knew that she was going to travel, and she met Daniel, and they and she discovered a whole new life. That's what the synopsis was. So that's all I was expecting out of the story. Dude, there was so much more to it than that. This one, I believe I rated it five stars. Um, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. It gets, it goes from happy to dark. So, yeah, it was, it was a really good story. And then, um, I read The Family Across the Street, and this was by Nicole Trope. This, did not cover um, any prompts. This was our Bookworms Book Club pick. And this is the one I told you before. I went into it. I didn't know anything about the synopsis. All I knew was there was a family across the street. So, in the family across the street, you got Catherine and John, who is the family across the street. And they've got twins, and they seem, you know, so happy and all this stuff. But why do they not go to the family or to the neighborhood barbecues? Why are they not outside and people can see them and this and that? That's pretty much what you get from the story. And then you have Logan, who is this delivery driver, which is where this story starts. And it really confused me. I'm like, why am I reading about this guy? I want to read about the family that's across the street. Well, the thing of it is, is he tries to deliver a package and it has to be signed for and she refuses and she's got one of those little latches you pull over and she's talking to him says well sorry closes it and that was it and he got an idea that something wasn't right and then you got the nosy neighbor across the other side of the street and her name is Gladys and she lives there with her husband Lou and Lou is kind of uh he's in a wheelchair he can't really do a whole lot of stuff for himself so she's pretty much looking after him but she's always keeping an eye across the street because sometimes she sees things that doesn't seem right and that's the story my friends and that's all I'm going to tell you um this was a great psychological thriller great twist right there at nearing the end of the story and I'm like what yeah so that was great five stars for that one I really really liked it and then the last prompt was for Riot House this was a book that I would not normally read 
it was pretty dark, guys. Um, this is by K Callie Hart, and I loved the story. I gave it five stars. It is pretty dark. There's violence. There's some explicit sex scenes in it. Um, but it was a good story. Um, in this story, you've got um, Elodie, who is from a military family, and she gets sent away to this school. And um, down the hill from the school, you got what they call the riot house. And there's three boys in there. They call them the riot boys. They, they got special privileges, and they get to stay in this house, and they don't have to live on campus. You have Elodie, and then you have Ren, and he is one of the riot boys. And he's just got to get with her. And that's pretty much um, the story, but it gets darker as you go. And they just, you know, kind of, they, they, they give the story backgrounds to both of these people. And you can't help but feel for these characters. So, that was the last one that covered my Read Your E-Reader. But, I still have a couple more books that I read on my E-Reader. The next book that I read on my E-Reader was Riot Rules by Kelly Hart. This one was also good. This one covered Dash, who is another Riot Boy. And it covers... Carrie, who is friends with Elodie, and this one goes back before Elodie comes, is where this story comes. It would make more sense for me to read Riot Rules first, and then read Riot House, so keep that in mind if you want to read them. Um, I think maybe Riot Rules was an afterthought, and she just wanted to cover the place before Elodie. I don't know what the, the reason was behind that. Um, I didn't like Riot Rules as much as I liked Riot House. I think I only gave that one four stars. Um, but I still liked the story of Dash and Carrie. It was, uh, again, it turns your eye from how rowdy the boys are to why they are the way they are. And you get the stories, backgrounds of both of them. And like I said before... It's very dark, and there are triggers in these books, so keep that in mind. Um, the other one is Riot Act. I don't know if I'm going to read that one. I thought I was going to start it and just kind of left it with Riot Rules. Um, I really love the characters in both of these books, so if you don't mind the dark aspects of stories, then I would say go for it for those two. Okay, and then yesterday I finished a book called Beneath the Fallen Stars. This is by Kaylee Ryan and Lacey Black. This is like a military romance. Um, this did not come, I've already got all the prompts covered. I just, I just wanted to keep reading ebooks because that was the point of the challenge. So anyway, you got Shane and um, she meets Ford. And Ford had just, he was in the military and they, got a two-week leave and they met but Shane's got a bad name I'm not gonna tell you anything about that her, her she's got a bad name in this place that she lives and um, so Ford comes in and kind of changes they change each other's lives and that's pretty much the story you know it's a military romance so it's gonna give you the feels um, but I rated that one four stars um, I will probably read more by this duo of authors because I think that the flow was really good. It only took me like a day and a half, I guess, to read it. Um, but it was, a, it was a really, really good story. And then I just got one more that I'm reading right now. And it's called Be Still My Heart. And it is by Emily McIntyre. And I just started that one. Um, I'm going to read some more of it today. I will probably finish that one before the end of the month. And that is will be the last ebook that I will have to read for the month. So we'll see if I finish that one. You guys will will know if I finish it in my end of the month wrap up. So that is all of the books that I read for Read Your E Reader. Um, I it started out a little slow with the books I was reading, but it really picked up with the rest of the books. Um, and in between these ebooks, I have read physical books as well, and you'll see all that at my end of the month wrap up.
But that does it for me for e read your e-reader. Um, you guys let me know what you read. If, if you did read your e-reader, post down below and we will talk about it. Thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.